uh, let's try to solve uh, a problem um, which is shown in uh, the board here and uh, yeah so so this goes like this so there is uh, a, a boom like that uh, which can rotate about this hinge point and then there is this hydraulic um, system which can apply a force in this direction okay uh, either it can pull or it can push because there is i think uh, uh, if you see the internal construction maybe some piston is here and liquid uh, oil um, system is here so if you push in oil then it can go there and then like that okay so it's it's a hydraulic system to apply a force in this direction and 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 then here again it is hinged so that means this also can rotate okay that means in whatever angle this um, piston is piston rod is it will apply the force in that direction because these are hinge points and accordingly that also will rotate because here again it's uh, a pin joint okay so then it it can lift this force whatever is coming here so this is a mechanism to in a way lift um, some weight uh, attached at this point okay now if if that is the situation then we are supposed to find out the moment about this point i think it's it's given as o something yeah so this point is o and we have to find out so it's it's also known that the force which is coming here okay is 4.5 kilo newton okay so that's the force which is coming from the piston so we have to find out the moment of this force about this point o now <coughs> Uh, it is it, a very straightforward um, way to to solve this problem is to draw a very uh, simple schematic first uh, for example uh, the equivalent diagram i would draw like that maybe so okay and this angle is 90 degree and all the other dimensions are shown there so so i'll, I'll probably i'll draw like this mm. and maybe at a different angle yeah so like that i will draw and yes so that's fine and this angle is known fine then what i would do then is i'll show the force here okay is equal to 4.5 kilo newton Uh, this is different than this force so so maybe this is f prime whatever now i i need to find out the moment about this point so somehow if i can figure out this distance then it's done because force times this distance will be the answer now for that uh what i would require is uh you know uh, for example if i can figure somehow this angle uh not theta theta i've written there so maybe alpha if i can figure out this angle uh, uh, in in fact uh, what it means is this angle then i'm done now how to find out this angle so this is one of the thought process i'm talking about but then i'll display or i'll demonstrate one more which is more mechanical than this because this way of thinking requires a bit of um uh, uh future thinking okay anyway so let's see so now how to figure out this so i can see that uh this length is uh, known or no this is not known so let me see that if i draw a triangle like this now this will be the tan of alpha so i'll say the tan of alpha Uh, will be what uh, this over this isn't it so this distance over 
this distance right so let me say this is x say this is y so x over i y now how to calculate x for x what i can do is uh, this is this distance plus then i will go up up to this uh, because i know this theta hmm so so this is how much 340 so first i'll add this 360 360 uh, these are in mm plus um, this is 340 of um, sine of theta so 340 sine theta I have gone there but then I'll have to come back because now I have reached up to almost uh, this point then I have to subtract this which is uh, you know um, this 110 minus 110 um, if this is theta this is theta this is 90 minus theta so this is again theta right if this is theta 110 cos theta right so cosine theta so that will give you this length x then y uh, will be what this is 340 um, of cosine theta plus 110 uh, sine theta fine ok now if you do then x over y and then if you take alpha is equal to tan inverse of x over y uh, what you can find out is the angle will come out to be 56.2 degrees ok. So, this angle is 56.2 degrees from there you can calculate that fine. Uh, so, this is 360. So, this distance if I call this say um, d maybe ok. So, your moment uh, about O will be 4.5 kilo Newton times um, this of uh, so 360 this is 360 right yeah 360 times um, cosine of alpha or sine of alpha because uh, yeah so this angle is alpha yeah so cosine of this alpha so that will give you uh, a value of 0 0.902 kilo newton meters okay uh, please note that all these things were in millimeters now it has been converted into meters so 3902 uh, okay approximately. So, that is what uh, you will get in, in this method, but uh, uh, I wanted to actually show uh, another very mechanized method in which we will also demonstrate the use of shifting of coordinate system. So, that is the main goal of uh, choosing this problem ok. So, this definitely is uh, one way ok. Uh, then what? Now, <coughs> the for the next method, I wanted this picture again. Mm, how to do that? Okay. Anyways, uh, I'll the other method again. I'll come. I'll clear the board and again I'll start uh, and then see you in the next uh, video.